Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Who Click making a random video, pretty much my on my uh, buggy, my team associated B5M right here. Um, this is my first two wheel drive vehicle. I've never driven like two wheel buggy or short course or anything. I've always been four wheel drive. So when I bought it, I built it. I put some um, stock electronics. Which what I mean by stock is pretty much slow electronics. This is a RS spec and a seventeen point five motor. And if you see my video, you see I'm not like uh, like going crazy fast down the straights or clearing the big jumps. That's because I don't have enough power due to these electronics. And I, I put these in just to, so I can get the feel for the two wheel drive vehicle and and learn how to drive it, you know. But after that day of I, I've ran it like a whole day, probably like no, I ran it two days, like all day long, man. And it was fun. I loved it. But it. It felt too slow, and I, you know, everybody's passing me and jumping the big jumps, and I was like, man, I need to get something better in there. So I started searching, and I uh, saw a lot of reviews on on the uh, Turnigy Trackstar Turbo ESC, the 120 amp ESC, and uh, a lot of good reviews. And everybody was like, man, this is a good budget ESC, and it works great, just as good as any other name brands. So I was like, man, let me give this a shot. So I ordered this up from Hobby King and uh, it was on back order in the U.S. warehouse and it took about three weeks to get here. So in the meanwhile, while waiting on that, like after the first week, I was like, man, I need something now. So, of course, I'm a Tekken fanboy. So me being the Tekken fanboy, I went and bought the uh, the Tekken RSX and I put that in here with a uh, with a Turnigy Trackstar. 9.5 motor and I got this from Hobby King also this was about 36 bucks so I put that in there with the uh, 9.5 took it to the track night and day man I'm clearing everything it's fast down the straight I loved it so now fast forward three weeks after getting that I was like man I still wanted to check out the ESC to see if it's worth it for the 40 42 bucks and it finally came in and I also ordered the uh, programming card with it and uh, if you're going to Make sure you get the card, but make sure you also get the uh, the, the Trackstar card, Trackstar Turbo card. So make sure it looks exactly like this. So he finally came in, and I was like, "Cool." And uh, but there's not much information on this stuff, man. It's you know, it's obviously a knockoff. It comes from China, but what doesn't? And it's hard to like find info on it. There's not videos on it showing you how to calibrate it or how to program it or anything. There is a couple, but they're not even in English. I don't know what language they're in, but I can understand them. So I just start reading and reading and looking for stuff, but it's hard to find stuff, information on how to do this stuff. So I'm gonna make a little video just showing you guys how to do it, because I figured it out. With the little information I got and me just playing with it, I, I figured it out. And it's not it's not even hard, and it, it works good. So the first things first, after you solder it up, and you know, you're gonna power it on, you gotta, you know, usually every ESC you gotta calibrate it. So before you power it on, let's make sure you turn your radio on. And then you're gonna get your your car. Now you see there's a little button on the power switch here. You're gonna hold this little red button, hold it down, power it on, and keep holding the red button. Alright. And then solid amber light is gonna it's gonna be a solid amber light but that means it's neutral so you're gonna program neutral you're gonna push the button again so just leave your leave your radio in neutral push the button it's gonna blink let's go to solid orange that looks like orange I don't know what color that is so solid orange that means full throttle hold full throttle hold full throttle push the button it's gonna blink Solid red light comes on. That means full reverse. Hold full reverse. Push the button. It's going to blink. And that means it's calibrated. All right. So let's put it on the stand, make sure everything works. All right. We got forward. We got brakes. All right. We got reverse. Wait. Nope. We don't got reverse. Nope, no reverse. Oh, there it goes. Let's wait four seconds. 
You see that? The reverse. So that's the one problem I did come across with this ESC. So let's recalibrate it. Turn it off. Uh, what I found is I kind of took a little bit uh, a little bit longer to calibrate it because I'm showing you guys. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it like normal and see how that works. I'm gonna hold the button. Power on. Amber light neutral. Flash. Full throttle. Full reverse. And it's calibrated. All right, let's try it again. And there it is. Uh, works every time now. Alright, so there it is. Uh, so when you calibrate it, just make sure you don't take too long to calibrate it and everything's going to be fine. Now, so we got that. Now, when I uh, when I first powered on the car, the ESC with my radio, it was already calibrated, but like I said, the, the reverse was like not consistent, so I, I did it like I just showed you. I just did it without taking so long uh, on, on the steps, you know, and it worked perfect. And I'm running an Airtronics R x37 and it, it, it works great so let's go through the um, programming feature now now you've seen that that blinking light there right so when you when you first power it on that blinking light pretty much means you're in um I don't know if you can see that pretty much means you're on like blinky mode so you're not getting you're not getting any boost any uh, turbo anything like that so let's let's add some uh, boost and some turbo to it and that's going to come in with the box, the program box. So what you're going to do is if you see on the back of the box, you got a blue and a yellow. You got a blue and a yellow. This pretty much, that first symbol there means, you know, uh, I'm guessing that's your connection, your signal. Then you got positive and you got negative. So we're going to unplug the ESC. Unplug the ESC from the receiver. And we're going to put put it in the blue section remember the blue section positive with positive negative with negative should look something like that you can see all right and now we're going to power on the car all right you see it instantly came on press any key go ahead and press any key it's telling you it's a 10 centered version, blah, blah, blah. And uh, step two, anything with a star on it means it's a stock, it's it's built stock uh, into the ESC. So anything with a star, so if, say if I change it, see there's no star, that means I'm changing it. But this is pretty much what they re recommend is the one with the star. So yes, I want forward, reverse, brake. If you go over, this is just forward and reverse. I believe that's just forward into instant reverse, which I don't want. So let's go forward reverse brake. Next, drag brake. I want zero drag brake. Yes, if you want drag brake, just add your drag brake, but I want zero. So I'm gonna put that on zero. Next step, brake strength, 75. Um, I don't use too much brake. Uh, stock setting is 80. I'm gonna run with 75. Check that just to see how that works. Next step down, light uh, voltage cutoff. It's recommended 3.2, which is uh, the normal for a two-cell battery. It's leaving about 10% battery life in the, in your uh, two-cell lipo. I run 2.0. I, I run 3.2, which is a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna run 3.4. I mean, which is a little bit safer. It'll leave a little bit more battery life into the uh, the lipo, so you're not <clears throat> you're not discharging so much. And I'm not. If you're bashing, I guess 3.2 is gonna give you the longer runtime but I'm on a track usually you don't run the full battery anyway so I'm gonna run 3.4 and it's a little bit safer next punch profile that's pretty much like um, on a Tekken that would be your uh, current limiter so whatever if you put it on a hundred well it's this goes one through nine I'm not sure if nine is a hundred or if zero is 
pretty much saying there's no cutoff and that's 100. So I'm running it at 5. So it's pretty much saying if you put it at 0, you're going to get all the all the power out of the motor and the ESC. So I run it at 5. See how that works. Next, we got dead band. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to leave it. Neutral dead band. It's got a star on it, so I'll leave it there. Boost timing. Now, I just showed you when I first powered on the car, it was blinking. That means it's in a blinky mode. There's no boost, no timing. Let's add some boost, though, to see how it, how it, what the difference in the power is. Let's put about 10 degrees boost. And that's going to give us a little bit more power. And a turbo slope. Don't know what that is. It's got a star on it. Let's leave it. Turbo timing. Let's add some turbo. This is it. This is the... Uh, Turn it G track star turbo, right? So let's add some turbo to that. Um, let's put 10, yeah, 10, 10, just like the uh, boost. See what that does. So we're putting 10 on the 10 degrees on the turbo boost timing RPM. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna leave it. Turbo delay that's I believe that's for your delay for once you're full throttle and your motor is at full throttle. Our full RPM, I guess at 0.1 seconds after that, it's going to kick in with turbo. Let's leave that. That's stock setting. Don't know what that is. Boost timing, ACC, whatever. I'm going to leave that. Reverse speed. I don't. When you're on a track, you don't need full reverse, full throttle. Uh, the full RPMs on the reverse. So let's put it at 25. And drive frequency. I don't know what that is. Brake frequent frequency, whatever. Stock setting is good with me. Temperature temperature set on yes. It's on on. I don't if I'm guessing if you're turning it on, there's not going to be no thermal shutdown, so you're pretty much going to burn it up. And you can restore to your uh, factory settings. All right, and now we're back to the beginning. So we programmed some boost and some turbo in there. Let's turn it off. Let's plug this back in back into the receiver alright and let's see what the difference is turn on your radio turn on the car alright now there's a, now there's two solid yellow lights if you remember when I first turned it on the second light was blinking that means it was in a blinky mode so now we're not in blinky mode, pretty much saying you're in mod mode or whatever. And let's see what the difference is. We got steering. Alright. So that's the turbo. You, you hear the second. Now, when the, the when when it kicks in, it's the second gear pretty much. I'm not, I'm already full throttle. That's just the turbo. Here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna just go full throttle. So that second, that second boost of energy there. Oh, my tires rip. That's that's the turbo kicking in, which is insane, man. That's that's nuts. So it all works, and we still get our reverse. Yep, still got reverse. So there it is, man. Everything works. Let's turn this back off. So. There it is, guys. I showed you how to um, how to program this thing, how to calibrate it, and how it works, man. And it, it seems to work pretty damn good. So I got two motors. I got a 7.5. I'm going to run that in, hopefully, a uh, four-wheel drive vehicle if I ever get one. And I got an 8.5, or I got a 9.5, which is in there right now. And uh, let's see what comes in it. It gives you they give you a sensor cable and just the motor this is what the motor looks like when you unbox it so it's pretty heavy it feels pretty solid I mean it feels like good quality and uh, see what else is in there and that's it I believe they do come with a sticker which I took out earlier it comes with a sticker and on the ESC you get the ESC, and then you get the uh, the cables there, and I believe there's also a sticker in there. So that's not bad. So that there it is, man. And uh, make sure you get this this program um, box because you're definitely gonna need it. 
it's gonna make everything a lot easier I think you can program with the button but I don't know how you do that so just grab the box it's only nine bucks the motors are 32 and the ESC is 40 the motors are 36 and the ESC is 42 and you get them all off hobbyking.com so there it is man Hope, hopefully you guys um, enjoy the video Hopefully this helps some people out because I know I was definitely looking for something like this when I bought this stuff, but it's kind of hard to find. So hopefully that makes it easier for everybody that's looking for this. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.